How we doing folks? Well, I'm out here again today an old farm field. Um, just got my first decent find. Fired round ball. Um, not sure of the age. I do not see a sprue or anything, but it's really misshapen, definitely fired, and hit something hard. It looks like it has three indentations on it right there. Like it was sitting against a big ball. And some little ones that might have been part of a little buck and ball most likely civilian one because they did have these civilians did as well as military um almost looks like i want to see a sprue there but not too sure but first decent find on the day so hopefully i get a video out of today this is the area where the little half dime came out a bunch of indian heads quarters like up to the 60s all the way back to 1850 we found stuff here so who knows um i don't see any houses here on any maps a road did go through here so maybe it was from the road um hopefully we'll find something and we'll get back with you on the next all right i want to go ahead and dig this signal live with you guys it's pretty decent let me turn the uh headphones off and 70s so put it back there it seems pretty shallow it's a root here oh could be aluminum I did just dig aluminum a second ago I think it's off to the side a little bit oh ants 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 oh that hurts holy smokes I'm an idiot 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 I don't know if you see all of these ants all over me. Ow, 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 ow. I just stepped in their house. That was dumb. Oh, that stings. Stings, stings, stings. Uh, uh, uh. And there's another one I'm standing in. What a brilliant little idiot. Oh, that freaking hurt so bad. Ah, oh, there's another one, you little son of a gun. I think I got them all. That was very dumb. I did my dumb thing for the day. Covered in poison ivy, too, from the other day. All right, bunch of uh, ants still on me. But this is their house I just kicked up. I don't know if you can see all of those freaking ants in there. Oh, that was dumb. Very, very dumb. Okay. Come on now. They're still pissed. Ow, I am still getting bit the heck up. All for aluminum. I knew it was aluminum. I had to dig it. Dang it. Oh, that hurts. All right, stupidity on the day. Some nice brown glass down here. Ow. All right, I'll get back with you after I get situated again. All right, I'm trying to get a feel for this place again. We got a uh, light bulb down here. So that's not the greatest signal in the world, but kind of tells a story. So whatever was around here, there might have been a building or an outbuilding, but we are across the road. So, I don't know. I don't know what was going on here exactly. Okay, we had a very, very deep signal. <clears throat> and I want to show you it now because it's giving me a double beep. It's probably a coin. Oh, I see it. See it right there. Oh, that might be a penny. Yeah, it's a weedy. Wheat penny. I should have showed you that signal when I dug it. I've just been dug a lot of junk. 1944. It sounded very weird. <laughs> Probably. 
probably because there's iron in the hole, I would assume. All right. Yep. Well, we got a weedy. That's good. We missed it. This is the youngest coin I think we found. The oldest being 1850 something. Very cool. Very jumpy. But this usually means it's just deep. I suspect that something good, either with iron or something good that's just deep, and the detector doesn't know what it is, or it's iron. Okay. Could be a number of things. Alright, I have no idea. It's way down there, whatever it is. Probably deep iron. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, we got it. No, we don't. It's in the sidewall. Shotgun shell. I knew it was something. Yeah, it was very deep, so it was giving me that very grunty iron signal with a little high peak. You gotta dig those with this machine. By the way, I am using the Garrett AT Max again. My friend Bob let me borrow it. So, thank you very much, Bob. And I'm very, very pleased to be using this machine again. I love it. I love it so much. I gotta get me one. Save up some money. I absolutely love this machine. I got it on iron discrimination at 11. It's all the iron in here. Zero mode. and That's it. Uh, very, very good machine. Got another scratchy kind of signal. But I think I see lead right here. Yup. That, my friends, is a musket ball. Clean it up a little bit. Just rub it on my pants a little bit. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm having trouble seeing if this is dropped or fired. Probably fired because it's got a big nick here. It almost looks like a sprue again, but I'm not sure. It almost looks like a split shot, but it is not. Definitely not a uh, sinker. But, it almost looks like one with the cut taken out of it. But, I suppose it's fired and it hit some Musket ball. Pretty big one. More lead. Big lead. And I'm standing at another anthill. Huh. Whoops. You could tell that's old by that patina. I was hoping it was like a mini ball or something because I've never found one of them. But I think it is just a gigantic musket ball that hits something very, very hard because I don't see any lines or anything on it. Yeah, I can see the curvature here. Like that was the back and the musket ball just hit something very hard and spread out onto whatever it hit. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't. It almost looks melted, but not too much. Huh. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely a musket bulb. If you're edging by how round it is on that side, looks like just a very hard hit. And we got the same exact signal. Right here was that musket ball. Nothing else there. Very jumpy, 50s to 70s. That's what the last piece of lead I found was. I'm expecting that it is more lead or aluminum. Because they sound exactly the same when they're scratchy like that. But we'll find out. I'd say that's lead. Mid 60s. Just hope it's not a bottle cap <laughs> with glass still on it, because that could be. 
I just don't want to hit whatever it is. It might be aluminum, oh no. Or a shotgun shell. Yeah, shotgun shell. That is a really old one though. That one here. The uh, star based one is like 1800s. I'm pretty positive. So, that's uh, probably the same era as that musket ball. Mid to late 1800s. Now this here is burnt coal and it gives a signal on a metal detector. So this tells me that it was old enough around this area. We obviously know because we found the 1850 coins with buttons, Indian heads and stuff. But this shows that there was probably a structure here because why there would there be burnt coal here? Hmm, that intrigues me. The greatest signals of the day, but that usually turns out to be a bad thing. High 80s to 90. That was almost sounding like deep iron to me. Hopefully not. Losing it. Yeah, it's very deep, whatever it is. I'll dig it up and we'll get back to you. It's out and it's dropped way lower. It's giving a double beep though. Could be a pool tap, I suppose. Or a nickel. Or a shotgun shell. Which is probably right. Deep, deep shotgun shell. Oh well, I want them all. Very good signal, another one of the best of the day. That sounds like a coin or an aluminum cap. Sounded very shallow. Oh good, that's a very good sign that it's deeper. Make sure it's still there. Yep, yeah, we'll dig a couple inches down. All right, you see it anywhere or anything? Let's go with the probe first. I'm afraid it might be something big because uh, I should. It sounded very shallow. Although I am using a different machine. No, it is a coin. Oh no, it's not a coin. Is that a button? I don't think so. It's a copper, whatever it is. And I don't know what it is. It could be the back of a two-piece, no. I have no idea, folks. If you do, please let me know, I have no idea. All right, folks, I just had a tremendous amount of iron here. But I don't know why there'd be a house here, because if you look around us, there's a big hill up that way. We're in like a dip right here. And there's hills all from the distance. We're kind of in a gully, but check this out. I can see something brass sticking out here. And it was way down here. I just popped it out of the very bottom. Oh man, is that a key? Oh, please. It's a key. Oh my god! Look at that! Oh! That is one hell of a relic right there. I just got relic hard, 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 hard. Oh my word! That is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. This is right where that 1850 
something half done came from an 1898 Indian head penny, a bunch of silvers, all sorts of stuff. Oh man, that is just incredible right there. That is the best relic I've gotten in a long, long time, folks. Oh man, and I didn't hit this one and decapitate it. This is the second ever. Oh man, look at that imprint. Oh yes. Oh, that is. Whew. I just love this AT Max. And we've been through here so many times. Oh, that is a relic right there. Relic hard. If I've ever been relic in my life. Wow. It's probably a lock key. Whew. Maybe the lock's here. Let's get back at it. I am fired up now, boy. Thick iron down here. Oh, jeez. Oh, sick. Some plumbing for the house. T and J. It's missing the key. Oh, yeah. I can't believe we missed that signal last time. That was massive. But we did. Big old hunk of brass. Plumbing off the house. Looks like a spigot or something missing. Something. Had a key right there. All right, let's go over around up here. And we did pretty well for only being out here for an hour and a half. Um, two pieces of burnt coal. We got a bunch of shell casings, a fence staple, 22 bullet, aluminum. This might be off of like roofing. I don't know. I thought it was a button, but I don't not think it is now. Um, <clears throat> our big old brass piece, some modern shotgun shells, old shotgun shells, little decorative piece off of something, two musket balls, a oh, gigantic one I think, either that or it's just melted lead, I don't know, or a big old slug. I can see a couple rings there, actually, so it's either melted or that was a big old bullet. Pellet gun, wheat penny, and our like freaking relic of the year right here. Jeez, that is a gorgeous big old brass skeleton key. Absolutely am in love with that freaking thing. That is awesome. So pumped to find that. So awesome. Very happy. <laughs> so excited, folks. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's 100 degrees. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We did a little bit better than the last couple of trips out. Awesome. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next.